are you today? I have been on a peanut butter kick. Um, I just made some peanut butter fudge and you know a couple, a couple days ago. And today I am making peanut butter cookies. I'm trying to find a peanut butter recipe that doesn't have the almond flour and the coconut. And I'm a big fan of macadamia nuts. So I am going to try this recipe with macadamia nuts. And what I will be using today is the Lakanto Classic. And I will be using a quarter cup of that. And I will be using the brown sugar swerve, also a quarter cup of that. And I'm using some macadamia nuts that I have ground myself, which I will be using four ounces. I will be using peanut butter, one cup, and also two tablespoons of the true nut powder because I like the taste and the combination. And then I have a quarter teaspoon of uh, baking soda, which is my little arm and hammer, and a quarter teaspoon of the baking powder. So in my bowl here, my Bertha mixing bowl, I don't know if you can see that, I have four tablespoons of softening butter. It's Kerrygold. And I'm going to adjust my camera and we'll get started. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to mix our peanut butter in with our butter. And again, this is one cup of organic peanut butter. But you can really use, you know, whatever peanut butter that you have. It doesn't have to be a certain brand. It's just, you know, peanut butter. Whatever you have is what you have. And then the two tablespoons of the true powder protein blend. Okay, so we're just going to mix this together. And it's important to make sure that we scrape the bowl. Sometimes Bertha, you know, it doesn't reach quite to the bottom like the um, hand mixers. So you do the best you can and just make sure you mix it. So now we're going to go in with our sugar. This is a quarter cup of Lucanto Classic granulated and the brown swerve. Okay, I need my little got a moisture texture than the Lacanto. And then we're going to give that a mix. So now our last ingredients are going to be the four ounces of macadamia nut, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Baking soda and baking powder and then a teaspoon of vanilla. And we're gonna mix this up one more time and then we'll be ready to scoop our batter onto the cookie sheets. So this is the texture of our batter. And I have here just a lined parchment paper. And I'm gonna take a scoop and just put them on here. It's a very um, sticky dough, so we will find out if they will do what I want them to do. And I really would like a thin, crispy peanut butter cookie. That's what I'm going for. Um, I do like moist ones too, but I, I really would like a crispy, crunchy one. So we're going to see how this works out. So I'm going to finish putting the rest of these on the cookie sheet and I've got the oven preheated to 375 and I'm going to try um, like 9 to 12 minutes and see how we do. I've got 6 on this one and what I'm going to do is just sprinkle a little bit of the Lakanto on here. I'm not going to roll them because the, the dough is a little bit wet. So we're going to see if these spread out and give me a nice crispy cookie. We'll find out. 
stay tuned and thanks for watching appreciate it so here are the cookies there's nine of them here they are cooling um, I this recipe made like 20 cookies for me however the other pan of cookies ended up on the floor uh, so I had to throw them away so when these cool I will let you know how they taste Thanks for watching. Watching, I appreciate it. Hey guys, Boom here. So, here are the cookies. The ones that didn't have an accident on the floor. This is what they look like. That's the back side. So, we're going to see how they taste. That's the inside. So, here we go. I like that it is definitely very very peanut buttery it's it's good um, it's crispy um, crispy enough and it's got a nice color to it um, I like the way they look I like the way they taste and they took nine they took 12 minutes to cook um, so there you go this is the my macadamia nut peanut butter cookies and I'll probably have another peanut butter cookie recipe later on in the future that's a soft cookie um, but this one this one's good I like it thanks for watching I appreciate it I meant to tell you about these cookies the recipe which will be in the description box I originally cut it in half because I'm experimenting here with the macadamia nut and macadamia nuts are kind of pricey so with experimenting you know I cut the recipe down just in case I didn't like the way they turned out but I did so if you wanted to make more than 20 cookies you could just double it because I cut just like I said I just cut it in half but I like the way they came out I really like them so thanks for watching appreciate it I'm really going this time Bye.